Why is council looking to increase rates above the rate peg? So it's special rate variation for a five year period to pay for the upgrade of the main city levy and also an upgrade of the North Wagga levy to a one in 20 year level. Uh, it's a $23.5 million project in round figures. Um, it's the project that's normally co-funded by state and federal governments and we're expecting uh, the co-funding. Uh, so council's contribution from that $23.5 million uh, will be uh, $7.75 million. We need to raise that money so that other work that the, uh, that the council does within the community, uh, such as maintenance and building of our uh, recreation spaces, our cultural spaces, our roads and, and our road infrastructure, our the stormwater drainage is not impacted uh, by such a large project. We'd also like to do this project in a very limited a period of time and we want to be able to say to state and federal government we have the money, uh, we have got a funding source, effectively the money's in the bank, you fund it, we build it. How much will rates go up by to pay for the specific levy component? So uh, the rate rises are, are, are quite limited for a, for a five year period. It's a, uh, for the average uh, residential and business rate, it's about 4% uh, onto, on top of your normal rate uh, variation that's, uh, that's determined by state government from year to year. Uh, so we're expecting that for, let's say, an average residential property um, in the order of uh, $170,000 to $180,000 um, valuation on that property, uh, that your rate variation will be in the order of a dollar a week. Uh, obviously, some people will pay less than that and some people will pay more than that but it is a, it, it, it's quite a limited amount of money over a short period of time, five years. At the end of that period, that variation will be totally taken away from the rate uh, notices. So how much will that uh, variation be uh, annually, looking at annual terms? So an annual term, somewhere in the order of 45 to $60 a week, depending on the valuation of your residential property. And what about for farmlands, because, properties, because they'll have a reduced rate? Yes, yeah, so farmlands uh, will be paying a reduced amount of 50% uh, of, the, of the increase that uh, other ratepayers will be paying. That will still result uh, in them having a, a variation to the rates of a similar figure to the residential rates, around that $50 a year. Um, keep in mind the other component for farms is that the average farm uh, would normally have a couple of property titles, so more than one property title. So a farmer often will receive on his what's classified as his farm or her farm um, may, may receive two or three rate notices. So each rate notice, each rateable property uh, will have that increase of, uh, as I said, 4.1% uh, uh, for uh, residential, village and businesses and uh, half of that amount for farmland. Now, what process does Council need to go through in order to apply for this increase? Is it a done deal? Uh, so Council needs to apply to IPART for an assessment of its uh, rate variation. It's not a done deal. I'd like, to, uh, I'd like to believe though, of course, that IPART will look at this application. They will say that this is a very sensible uh, uh, application. It's for a specific project. The project is fully designed and costed and there's certainty uh, in relation to um, what the variation is going to be used for and the fact that the special rate variation will be taken off the moment that those funds that Council has indicated uh, it needs to raise for this project are raised. So it's a limited five year special rate variation. At the end of that period of time rates will be returned to the level that they would have been at without this rate variation. And you touched on it earlier but what happens if IPART does not approve the increase in rates? So if IPART don't approve this increase in rates then Council will need to look at other sources of funding. Those other sources of funding are likely to be um, um, general purpose revenue and taking away from the amount of money that Council has for example to maintain its parklands, to build new sporting facilities, to improve its road infrastructure and its drainage infrastructure or will need to look at borrowings and borrowings themselves of course come at a cost to Council and that will reduce our capability to do other projects within the city. It's very, very important that we keep that ability uh, for Wagga City Council to be able to provide the facilities and the new infrastructure uh, that the residents of our city enjoy now, and that is the desire of Council. We believe this is a very, very worthwhile project and a project that the residents of Wagga are prepared to pay a short-term special rate variation for. And finally, just to expand further, how important is it to upgrade the levy um, the levy system in North Wagga? 
Uh, look, it's extremely important that the uh, levy system be upgraded uh, generally, uh, particularly for the main city. Of course, we, we saw the effects of just a precautionary evacuation for the main city uh, just uh, several years ago and the effect that that had on commerce within the, not just within the city of Wagga, but in the greater Riverina region. Um, to, have a, um, uh, to have that area physically inundated would be a much more significant uh, event within the, uh, within the, not just the city, but within the Riverina uh, and, and for the state in actual fact. Upgrading the uh, North Wagga levy is important because that will give North Wagga a better level of protection. It would give them some more certainty about the, uh, the strength of the levy and its protection level. And uh, so I believe that this will be supported by all residents in the city of Wagga. At the moment you're looking to raise enough money to pay for an upgrade of the North Wagga levy to a 1 in 20 year level of protection. What if that upgrade doesn't go ahead or what if the increase in height is higher than that? So Council has, uh, has effectively um, said uh, we believe that North Wagga uh, should be raised to 1 in 20 but um, through our previous community consultation there is a very, very large community um, belief, uh, particularly from North Wagga residents, that a way in a 100 year levy uh, should be constructed around North Wagga. Council now needs to go through a risk assessment process and a floodplain risk management process assessment on whether or not that is a viable option and Council has agreed to undertake that, that work. Should, at the end of this program um, and at the end of that, those studies that the North Wagga levy um, uh, requires additional work, for example, to protect it to a one in a hundred year, then council, uh, then this special rate variation will not be used for that purpose and council will look at other funding sources. That increase in cost is uh, in the order of two million to two and a half million dollars. Council's contribution would be one third of that amount. So we're looking at quite a small amount of money relative to the main city upgrade and I think council would be willing to uh, would be willing to look at how we raise that money through uh, either our normal rates revenue or through short term borrowings for that particular work uh, the special rate variation uh, is to is to pay for and to be very clear is to pay for the upgrade of the main city to a one in a hundred year levy protection and North Wagga to one in twenty year levy protection any additional works uh, we would look to fund from our own source revenue for peace of mind, uh, if for any reason the levy upgrade doesn't go ahead, can that money raised by the increase in rates be used for anything else? Council has an absolute commitment that this money will be held for that purpose and that purpose alone. The levy upgrade will happen. The state and federal governments will give us uh, their two-thirds share of the contribution. Uh, the period of time over which that happens though is not guaranteed. The absolute promise from Council to the community is money raised through this variation will be kept in, in a special purpose fund for that purpose and for that purpose alone and it will only be spent on uh, levy, uh, levy and flood protection upgrade.